Hello friends. Welcome to this special pajama story time. I'm so glad you could make it tonight. I'm Miss Abby from the La Crosse Public Library and I'm so excited to sing with you and read with you um, and get all cozy tonight before bed as well. All right, friends, before we begin, and I just realized something, I'm glad I'm at home. I forgot my scarf. So I'm going to go grab a scarf. If you have a scarf for a little bit later, could you also please go grab that? We're going to use it for some songs. If you don't have a scarf, that's fine too. You could grab a dish towel. You could grab a washcloth, a sock, preferably a clean one. So take a moment right now. I'm going to take a moment too, and I'm going to go grab a scarf. Okay. And we'll come back and then we'll get started. All right, let's go do it. Okay. Did you get your scarf? Perfect. I got my scarf too. I have a nice rainbow scarf today that I'm going to use a little bit later. Um, so a few more things before we get started. Some announcements for your grown-ups. We still have one more week of music with Mr. Evan next Tuesday. So if you've never joined us for that Zoom music class, it's a delight. You can sign up on our website at lacrosselibrary.org. So please join us for that. We have a few more weeks of story time on Thursday and Friday morning, and then we're going to take a brief break in May to get ready for summer. And we'll come back with an all new um, story time and programming schedule. So keep an eye out for that as well. Okay, friends, if you have your scarf and you're cozy, maybe you have your jammies on, maybe you grabbed a stuffed animal, I think we're ready to get started. So we always start our story times with our hello song. And there are a few actions that go with our hello song as well. So if you don't know those actions, that's fine. I'll teach them to you now. And we'll sing our song through two times so we can learn it all together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our hand flat like a pancake. And then we're gonna touch our fuzzy eyebrows and push it away. That's gonna stand for hello. And then we're gonna take our two pointer fingers and hug them together, just like we hug our friends. And that means friends. Then we're gonna take one finger and tap our wrist for time and then touch our chin and push it away for say. And we're going to put that all together in our hello song. Are you ready, friends? Let's try it, okay? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, friends. Excellent. This time, could we sing it? Could we sing in our whisper voices? Because at night, sometimes if we get up or if we're trying to not wake anybody else up, we whisper. So let's practice singing in our whisper voices. Are you ready? Okay. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, friends. How did it feel to sing in your whisper voice? Feels a little bit different, doesn't it? Okay, I think we're ready for our first book tonight. And our first book is about how a little girl and her family get ready for bed. So can you take a moment and think about how you get ready for bed? Are there special things you do? like maybe brush your teeth or wash your face, comb your hair, read a story, get tucked in. So we all have our own special routine for bedtime. And this is all about one little girl's getting bed, getting into bed routine. And it's called The Bedtime Bonnet. It was written by Nancy Red and illustrated by Mika Myers. The Bedtime Bonnet. You can see there's all this equipment 
that's used to take care of hair. Bedtime bonnet. In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. My brother twists and tightens each of his locks. Sis combs her hair in a swirl around her head. Daddy's hairbrush makes rows of black waves appear. Grandma rolls up her silver mane. Grandpa doesn't do anything to his hair because he doesn't have any. After mommy gathers her corkscrew curls and a scarf, she calls for me. I scoot between her legs and she gets to work on my hair. I'm tender headed, so she's extra gentle. Grandpa tells jokes as mommy works her magic. He asks me, why does the bee have sticky hair? I don't know. So he says, because it uses a honeycomb. Ugh, silly grandpa. Finally, a braided crown is on top of my head. And it's time for bed. Except... I can't find my bedtime bonnet. I need it to protect my hair from tangles and lint while I sleep. Wearing my bonnet at night is as important as brushing my teeth. Where do you think it could be? Do you think maybe the dog took it? Hmm. Let's find out. Maybe grandma knows where it is. She's covering her rollers with a kerchief. Grandma, have you seen my bonnet? She gets up and looks around. No, dear, I haven't. Maybe your sister knows. My sister is still in the bathroom. Her hair spun in a wrap. Sis, have you seen my bonnet? She looks in all the bathroom drawers. No, but here's daddy's wave cap. I take the cap to daddy and he pops it on his waves. Daddy, have you seen my bonnet? He looks around the sofa, but it's not there either. Where in the world could my bonnet be? I can't go to bed without it. Just then, my big brother walks in. A do-rag slipped over his locks. Does he know where it is? Big bro, have you seen my bonnet? He doesn't even pretend to look. He just says, ask grandpa. Hmm, do you think grandpa knows? where her bonnet is? Hmm. Oh, Grandpa. Did 
Did you see who had it the whole time? What a silly grandpa. Sometimes grandpas can really be silly. They like to joke a lot. My bonnet is now in its proper place and I'm really sleepy. Everyone gives me kisses and hugs and mommy and daddy read me a story. Good night, family. In the morning, when the sun comes up, our hair comes down. Daddy smooths his ocean-like waves. Mommy scrunches her ribbony curls. Sis unwinds her foot-long wrap. My brother shakes out his lovely lock. While grandma unsnaps her rollers, grandpa shaves his head. And as for me, my bonnet comes off and my braids come out. Now we're all ready for a brand new day. The end. That was the Bedtime Bonnet by Nancy Red and illustrated by Nika Myers. Thanks for listening to that, friends. And maybe you thought about what you do for bedtime and what your bedtime routine is as well. All right, I think we're ready for a song. The next song we're going to sing is about traveling to the moon. I'm not sure if the moon is out tonight and it's kind of cloudy, so we might not be able to see it. But we're going to sing Zoom Zoom and we're going to go to the moon. So I need your help. I need you to take your hands and rub them together. And this is going to be our rocket ship. Okay. And then we're going to pretend our fingers are the astronauts. And we're going to climb aboard our rocket ship and climb aboard our rocket ship. And then we have to count down to blast off. And we're going to count down from five. So I'm going to say five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to blast off. So if you're at home, you can stand up and you can scrunch down really little when we're counting and you can jump into the air. Or grown-ups, if you have a little one that you're holding in your lap, you can bounce them up in the air too. All right, can we sing Zoom Zoom? We ready? Let's get our rocket ships going. Okay, ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, Two, one, blast off. Good job, friends. And then you can float down to the ground. Very good. I bet you jumped super high. Should we sing that one more time? Let's do it. Let's get our rocket ships ready, okay? Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Very good, friends! Did you see anything special in outer space? Any stars? 
or maybe the sun or other planets? Well, thank you for singing that song with me. Are you ready for our next book? I am too. So our next book tonight is called, you might have seen it behind me. It's called Night Animals Need Sleep Too. So if you watched my story time from a few months ago, my other PJ story time, we read a book called Night Animals. And we're going to see the same animals in this book. But this is about how they need sleep too. But if night animals are awake at night, when do they sleep? That's right, in the daytime. So this is by Gianna Marino. Night animals need sleep too. See a bird is singing, because birds are awake in the daytime. And Mr. Possum looks very tired. Okay. <sighs> Night animals need sleep too. Hey, possum, what's wrong? It's too bright. I need somewhere dark and quiet to sleep. How about we sleep in that cave? Huh. Looks dark and quiet. Bzzz. What's that buzzing sound? Bees! Ouch! Run! Uh-oh. Possum! Watch out! For what? What's Possum going to run into? Thunk. Oh dear. How about we sleep in that tree? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Ah, nice and peaceful. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Do you hear something? Crack. Timber! Beaver! Uh-oh. Oh no, did I kill Possum? Are you dead again? Oh, go away. Did you know that sometimes when Possums are scared, they play dead, they pretend. Hmm. Oh, Possum, I'm so sorry you're dead. Oh, he does that sometimes. This den is nice and dark. Come on down. Something is down here. <gasps> What's going to do? What is that smell? Oh no, friends. <coughs> Skunk, 
you don't belong in a wolf's den. Huh. That looks cozy and quiet. Do you think they should go in that tent? Hmm. Crackle, crackle. Can you move over? <laughs> You're alive. Did you hear something? Crackle, crackle, crunch, crunch. Z zip. Poofed. Night animals! Run! Run! See what Possum's doing? He's not running at all. Silly guy. <sighs> we'll never get any sleep. Sleep? It's almost dark. Almost dark. Time for night and to wake up. Oh no, friends, did they get any sleep? No. That was Night Animals Need Sleep Too by Gianna Marino. Those silly night animals are always kind of getting into trouble. Remember last time too, they were scared of other night animals, even though they were the night animals. Such a silly book. All right, friends, do you think you could help me with a song? It's kind of a combination of a song and a flannel. So um, if you want to sing along at home, you absolutely can. And this is a flannel based on the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear by Bill Mar Martin Jr. and illustrated by Eric Carle. Do you think you've ever read that story before? I bet you have. But I'm going to kind of sing it to you. All right, friends, and you can sing along if you'd like. So first we're going to start with. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a Blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? Should we go through the animals again? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, quack, 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 a blue horse, a green frog, a 
purple cat, meow, meow. a white dog, a black sheep, and a goldfish looking at us. And that's what we see. What do you think, friends? Do you know that book or that story? I think you probably do. It's a really fun one to read. I'm sure your grown-up maybe has read it to you before. All right, I think it's time to sing a few more songs. So you can grab your scarf right now. I know Miss Abby forgot hers and had to get it. So if you need to go grab yours right now, that's fine too. We're going to sing a few scarf songs. So first we're going to sing One Bright Scarf. So our scarf is going to blow in the wind. And then we're going to wave it high and wave it low and shake it fast and shake it slow or wave it slow. Okay. Then we're going to do that twice and then we're going to hide it behind our backs. So maybe you could even try to hide it from your grown up. Okay. So we're going to hide it behind our back and say, where did it go? Do you want to try it? Okay. Let's get ready. Let's get our scarves ready. Okay. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? Where's your scarf? Where did it go? Is it on your head? No. Is it on your shoulders? Maybe. Was it behind your back? Good job, friends. Can we sing that one more time? You ready? Let's get our scarves ready. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? Where'd it go? Hmm, did anybody hide it in a different place than behind their back? Maybe you sat on it or maybe you scrunched it up into your sleeve. Those would all be good hiding places. All right, friends, do you want to sing another scarf song with me? We're going to sing one of our faves. We're going to sing Popcorn Kernels. Because a lot of times before bed, do you have a bedtime snack? And popcorn's a really great bedtime snack. So we're gonna sing popcorn kernels. So we're going to wave our scarf in the air and then we're going to squish it into our hands and pretend this is the popcorn popping in a pot. We're gonna shake it and shake it, shake it and shake it until it pops and you can throw it in the air and catch it, okay? Should we try it, friends? Got your scarf ready? Let's do it. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. Can we sing that again? But this time, can we sing it super duper slowly? It's kind of hard to sing slowly, but it's also silly. Do you want to try it with me? And then we're going to go super duper fast. Okay, let's go slow first. Ready? Pop corn kernels. Pop corn kernels. In a pot. In a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. Are you ready to go super duper fast? Okay, hold on your, onto your scarf. We're going to go really fast. I'm going to count us down. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. That was awesome. Did you catch your scarf or let it fall to the ground? It's fine either way, whatever you did. Okay, friends, we have one more story before we say goodbye. And it's pretty silly. 
and you might actually do this at home with your grownups. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this story. It's called Friday Night Wrestle Fest. And it was written by J.F. Fox and illustrated by Micah Player. See those wrestlers? They're getting ready to wrestle. Hmm. They also kind of look like a dad and some kids. Hmm. Friday Night Wrestle Fest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday night. That's right, school's out. Dinner was pizza. And best of all, it's time for Friday Night Wrestle Fest Main Event Battle to the Bedtime. In this corner, it's Dangerous Dadu. He's mad, he's bad, he's dad. Over on the kid crew, we have the Tag Team Twins featuring the Nutty by Nature, Peanut Brother, and the Wriggly, Giggly Jellyfish. With a special guest star, Big Bald. Baby. Let's get ready to wrestle. Kicking things off tonight is Jellyfish. She lands a jumping jelly flop on her poor old pop. Now Peanut Brothers piling it on with a blasting butter bump. Yes, siree, Dangerous Dadu is smack dab and a wham, bam, jam slamwich. Peanut, peanut brother and jellyfish. Uh-oh, the tides and tentacles quickly turn. Dangerous Dadu snatches jellyfish in a squishy squid squeeze. Ten tickles, did you say? Peanut Brother spins in to help Sis with a swirling shark clone. Totally jawsome. Dangerous Dadu fights back dishing out some seriously slobbery codfish kisses. Did somebody order the fish and lips? But hold the tartar sauce. What's going on? From out of nowhere, it's a flying mom bomb. That's right, folks. The one, the only, Mama Rama has entered the ring. She's home from work and going berserk. Our two grown-ups, 
too many for the tag team twins? Does this mean Betty bye-bye for the kid crew? Dangerous Dadu looks like he's got this one in the bag. <gasps> but hold the banana phone. Could it be? Mama Rama is joining forces with the kid crew. Dangerous Dadu's been double-crossed. It's a perfect parent trap. Bedtime looks bleak. Dadu is da done. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing can save him now. Nothing except big, bald baby and a clear the room diaper of doom. Uh-oh, that looks horribly stinky. After a quick bedtime blitz, jammy jam, brush and flush. Book and tuck, this wrestle fest has officially become a nestle fest. It's Friday night lights out for the kid crew. Good night from the arena until next week's. Friday night wrestle fest. The end. That was Friday Night Wrestle Fest by J.F. Fox and illustrated by Micah Player. Do you ever wrestle with your grown-ups? It's a lot of fun. But they had a really cool setup. They made their own arena with pillows. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today, or tonight, I should say, for this PJ story time. I hope you can head off to bed soon, and I hope you sleep so well. We're going to sing our goodbye song and then I'll say goodbye. So we're going to wave goodbye and hug our fingers together for friends. Tap our wrists for time. Touch our chin and push it away for say. You ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good job, friends. Let's do that one more time, but this time with no voices, okay? I'll hum to you. So let's zip our lips. Zip. Thank you, friends. Goodbye. I hope you sleep so well, and I can't wait to see you soon at the library. Good night, squeeze. Good night, kiss. Bye-bye, friends.